Hey guys, Ivan here, and we are hours away from Shiro Classic in France, and this show is probably gonna be won by Nathan Diasha, but is that really gonna happen? I'm not so sure. So first of all, there is no live stream of this show, and usually these European shows, the main event is on Sunday, but everything is gonna happen today, tonight. Even though there is no live stream, I will probably manage to find some videos, some photos, and I will assemble a video, so guys, stay tuned. I will make a video about this uh, as soon as it happens, but uh, as far as Nathan Diasha, so we got this uh, posing video of him at one day out, and honestly, like, he looks conditioned, he looks very shredded. But he looks kind of smaller, a lot smaller than before, at least to me. In a couple of poses it really shows, especially the front double bicep. Maybe it's, you know, the lighting, maybe he's just really flat or something, but I don't know. To me, here, in the front double, he looks much smaller, much more stringy than before. I don't know if he got worse from Italy to Spain and that's why he lost to Regan. I don't think so, I think he was really good at Italy. But here, right now, he doesn't really seem that good. I think he looks very conditioned, probably probably even more conditioned than before. But I think he lost some, some size, some fullness. I mean, once again, look at the back. Like, it's, it's really conditioned, but it looks small, right? Much smaller. Maybe it's just the angle, maybe it's just the lighting. We'll see on stage. But honestly, I thought this show was gonna be an easy win for Nathan Diasha. However, I'm not so sure anymore. Because look at him right now, also, most muscular. Look at the arms and the shoulders and the chest as well, and just the overall size of his body, especially the arms. He looks so much smaller. I hope it's only flatness. I hope once he's carved up fully and like pumped a little and under that lighting, that he's gonna look like his old self, but right here in this posing video, it looks like he's gonna have to really battle for that first spot, I'm not so sure if he can win this, I mean he probably will, because there isn't anybody who can really challenge him, I don't know about Tim Budesheim or Tio or Roman, I don't know, maybe they can challenge him, but I don't know, however, I don't think this is gonna be the best Nathan that we saw this season, maybe being on a diet for so long finally caught up to him and he's losing that fullness, he's, he's losing tissue, I don't know, maybe he's just really flat and it's gonna be completely different once he carves up, but right now, in this video, he looks much smaller to me than before. What do you guys think? What is happening here? Alright, next we got a little physique update, a little posing video, in a shirt, unfortunately, in a tank top, but it's still showing a lot. It's Mikhail Krizio at 5 weeks out of Mr. Olympia. And you can kind of get the idea of what he looks like right now when it seems like he is in a really good condition. And once again, there are five weeks until the Mr. Olympia, so he has enough time to get even harder, even drier, even fuller, and just the world better. And the last time we saw this guy on stage was at the Ampro Cup 2023, this year, when he qualified for the Mr. Olympia, and that was definitely his best version up to date. If you pay attention, you will notice that this guy actually improves a lot from show to show. So I'm expecting him to be much better at the Mr. Olympia, but if he shows up exactly like this the way he looked at this show, he still is, if you guys ask me, a top 8 Mr. Olympia material, I can definitely see him up there, uh, in my opinion, top 10, pretty much for sure, but he can climb even higher, because look at his conditioning, with his muscle bellies, with his symmetry, with his shape, everything was just so spot on, the only weakness, the biggest weakness of his physique are definitely his glutes, they need to be bigger. I don't know how much can he improve them for the Mr. Olympia, but at that last show, they didn't look that bad, definitely looked better than ever before, especially when he got this condition, you know, the hamstrings and the glutes and the lower back and just the back overall and everything, just, it looked so much better because he was conditioned, because his conditioning was actually spot on at this show. If he replicates this, and I'm expecting him to be even better, then once again, in my opinion, he's top 8. Maybe even higher than that, who knows, I'm a big fan of Mikhail Krizio, I would love to see him do well at the Mr. Olympia, all he really needs to do is replicate this conditioning, you know, practice his posing, maybe somehow bring, you know, bigger and fuller glutes, and uh, yeah, that's pretty much it, but I'm expecting him to be better than he was at this show, because he looks like this already at 5 weeks out, and once again, he's only gonna get better, so I'm very excited to see Mikhail Krizio on Mr. Olympia stage this year, he's going to be a top threat, for sure. 
All right, next up, again, at five weeks out, we got a physique update of Nick Walker, who was top three at Mr. Olympia last year. Will he place that high or higher again? I don't know. So here in this, in this update, he says that he's 274 <laughs> this morning, which is insane. He's still in the 270s, in the mid-270s. For a guy of his height, that's really crazy for this conditioning as well. So as you can see right here, his arms are looking insane. The V-taper also looks pretty good. The question is really, are his legs improved? In the comment section right here, you can see Michael the Bull saying that uh, his uh, sweep, his leg sweep is better than last year. Is that the case? Well, we can check that out. So I found a photo physique update of him at like four weeks out of Arnold Classic this year. At the same spot, under the same lighting, in the same pose. So let's compare. There you go. Is the lateral had the outer sweep of the quadricep bigger now? By the way, the photo on the left is the recent one. The photo on the right is from his previous prep. So try and pay attention to the legs, like to the outer sweep in particular. Is it bigger? Is it, is it better? Maybe a little? Yeah, I think it is. I think he grew it a little. I think his legs overall do seem bigger. They look less flat now. Yeah, I think, it's, I think it is noticeable. It's really hard to notice these changes because they are very minor. I mean, it's like only a couple of months difference, basically like five months maybe. So you can't really expect like a huge change, completely different set of legs. But I think you can see the difference, especially because he probably burned those legs off in that Arnold prep because he was chasing conditioning so much. He was probably doing a ton of cardio and uh, his legs suffered. They weren't that flat for the Mr. Olympia, but they were for the Arnold. So now that he probably has a different approach, I'm expecting, he didn't lose that much uh, leg fullness. Maybe he will as he goes down in weight. Maybe he will when he gets conditioned, really conditioned for the stage, I mean. He's already in a great shape, but he will get more peeled. And you can see right here that he's leaner on the foot on the right, because it was taken, I think, like 3-4 weeks out. And the foot on the left is once again right now at 5 weeks out. But there is a difference in legs. I don't know if it's gonna stay like this until the end of the prep, until the Mr. Olympia, but there definitely is a difference. Improvement is uh, visible. I don't know if you guys can notice it, but I think it's pretty obvious. I think his legs overall do look bigger fuller and the outer sweep is popping more i mean this guy will never have great set of legs because you can see how low his uh, lateral head is actually inserted it's like at the half of his quad and that's just genetic i mean this guy has so many great genetic traits but not everything is perfect and that's one problem he has but he has a great ability to build muscle so if he packs enough muscle in the other heads of the quad and like the adductors uh, which he's definitely doing, he can make an illusion of having better legs, even though the outer sweep will never be great. But there is an improvement. He did grow that part as well. I can definitely see it now. There are some other shots as well, such as the back double bicep, and you can see like here the conditioning that he's bringing, and uh, yeah, he's gonna be in great shape. When was Nick Walker out of shape? It never happened. The only thing that we can worry about now is whether his leg fullness is gonna be good. Whether he's gonna lose that, that volume in the legs as his conditioning progresses. That's the only thing, but whether he's gonna be in shape, he's definitely gonna be in shape. Uh, did he make more progress in terms of size? I think he did. If he's this shredded at 274, then yeah. And I think you can see it as well. Like The back looks uh, probably wider and like more muscular. And overall, this guy just keeps growing, keeps getting freakier. I don't know for how long will he be able to do that, but he's still doing it. So even though he doesn't have the best structure, I think he actually has a chance of winning the Mr. Olympia on the freak factor. But it's not like the biggest chance. The other guys need to be a little off for him to beat all of them and win the Mr. Olympia, but it's not impossible. What do you guys think? One of those guys is this guy right here, Samson Daura who just posted this photo of his back, and in my prediction, I will probably have Samson winning the Mr. Olympia, even though I know his back is his biggest weakness, 
And it is pretty weak, especially compared to somebody like Derek Lansford, right? So he posted this photo of his back right now, and I gotta say, it does look better. I mean, this guy always <laughs> looks better, like from season to season, he always improves, and I think he made improvements in that back. Now, it's gonna show, I mean, you can see that it is better, but is it as good as Derek Lansford's back? No, no, it's not. And in the back pose, you can't really see it, like, he has a lot of back thickness, he has really big shoulders and arms, and, he, and, and a small waist as well, and like, wide clavicles, so when he does this pose, it doesn't look so bad, I think it's more gonna be visible in the front lat, and the front double, I never liked those front poses of Samson because of that, but he still has so many other great traits, and he's a tall guy, and he's a really big guy, and you know, Mr. Olympia, he's usually been a lot about size, like the Mr. Olympia is usually a big man, it's rarely a short, smaller guy, I mean, Hardy won, I know, but it's not something that happens often, and I, he deserved it, he was just so much better than everybody else, but if Samson brings something pretty close to what guys like Derek, Nick, and Hardy are bringing, and he's a lot taller, a lot bigger than them, then he has a really good chance of winning this. Also, he has like the right structure, the right shape, the right lines, you know, the right symmetry, everything is just great with Samson, he has the size, and he's probably gonna be in a good condition, finally, I think much better conditioning than all the previous times we saw him, and I have a feeling, like, it's it's hard to predict that somebody who was 6 last year is going to win this year. I know the safest bet would be Derek Lansford or Hardy again, but we're making predictions here. And I'm trying to predict something happening, so I will say, I think Samson is going to win the Mr. Olympia 2023. I think he's the next Mr. Olympia. Whatever you guys think, you can tell me down below in the comment section. If you guys enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more content like this, subscribe to the channel. And if you guys want to support me, there is the link down below in the caption of this video. Just click on it. You will get to the Old School Labs website. Browse for the supplements. Buy whichever one you need, whichever one you like. But make sure to use the code EVAN for a 50% discount. And that's how you can support me and this channel. Thank you guys so much for watching. All the best and bye-bye.